What is up, everybody? Finishing up Rogue Raider Gaming's YouTube logo. Still not sure if I'm feeling the whole, uh, thing here. Uh, really not. Just saying. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do really quickly, I'm gonna look into doing a, uh, gradient mesh instead of, uh, let me just go to a red, bright red right now. Doing a gradient mesh instead of that crappy gradient. So, <coughs> let me think. Burr. Burr. Let me think. Uh, let me do five. Five of those. All right, it is streaming. That's good. Anyway, five, five of that. Okay, it's been a while since I've done these. Uh, so you'll do something like this. I'm actually what I'm gonna do really quickly. I'm gonna create some swatches really quick of the colors I'm going to want. So, we're going to have this one, which is going to be uh, this basic red. This one, which I'm going to create a darker red. And this one, I'm going to uh, oops, make a really dark red. So basically what I'm going to do here so I'm going to go into this. And like, like I said, it's been a while since I've done this. So we're going to grab this here. I think this is how it's done. So I'll take this do that. All right. So as you can see, it then did that. So you go here. Do the same thing. So this is I and this is A. So I'm going to just have my fingers on I and A. So I'm going to eyedropper this one here. A, uh, grab onto these, do that, and what's really cool is I can then manipulate these, so I can take this here, drag it down to here, take this, drag it over to here. And I take this, oops, hate that. I take this, drag it down here, and I can even take the handle, rotate it up a little bit. So I can even take this, down like that, take this handle, tweak it up a little bit like that. So it ends up looking at something like this. So if I, oh gosh. So if you zoom out, it looks like that. That looks like... Again, it's been so long since I've done it. I, in order to do this, to be like that... Um, complex, I have to put a lot of points. I honestly don't think that's going to look good either. Even if I... Like, if I could get the uh, folds to look perfect, I still don't think it's going to look good. Just saying. So what I'm going to do... It's not the gonna go back to that all right so I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna go to the red that I was using in the, uh, back so take this do the red I think I'm just gonna get rid of the gradient altogether cuz I just wasn't I didn't like it I think just having the normal colors will be better for it and it will also uh, be easier for if he wants to make t-shirts or whatever so I could probably I'm gonna probably pick a different red unless I mean if you're watching this dude uh, let me know because uh, if you like a if you want like a different color for this I mean heck I can even 
if you wanted to, I could do like an orange or, you know, something like that, you know. I kind of like that red, that red orange. I think it's a little bit better, actually. Personally, I think it's a little bit better. <coughs> so, squeaky chair's back. So, yeah, something like that. Now, the one thing I'm thinking about. Okay. I'm not happy at all with the, uh, the surrounding thing. So, what I'm thinking about doing is this. I'm going to just do a little test. So, I'm going to take this. Okay, I'm going to go like this. Is, that all? is this one thing? Yeah, okay. Do this. I'm going to copy and paste it again. Okay. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. I'm going to move it over here. So, uh, move down here. So, now I'm going to zoom in on this. Now, I'm going to basically do the uh, super notifications. Now, I'm going to basically make the colors the exact same thing that's over there. And I'm going to do a... I'm going to kind of combine all these and make it, uh, just put a stroke around it. See if that's even possible to make it look good and good. Because I will retrace it if I have to, but tracing it took forever. So, uh, I'm going to ungroup. No, oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, so if I take this. And I add a stroke. What happens? Twenty point stroke. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Yikes. Okay. Uh, undo. What I can do? Take this. Copy. Paste over top. I'll take this. I will turn it into black. And can I combine all this? Okay, what I will do is gonna take. I know it's probably a freaking much easier way to do all this crap, but uh, I was gonna do this. Gonna just combine it manually, really quick, because I just don't feel like doing anything else. Uh, like this, like this, like this. I love this tool, by the way. If you have never used that tool in Illustrator, then you're then you are missing out like crazy. All right, so I'm gonna take this, take these, copy, paste on top, make them all black. I'm gonna select this as well. Go underneath it. All right, now I'm gonna put a stroke on this. And I'm just gonna go crazy, and I'm gonna make it really, really thick, so I can combine it. And yeah, the problem is, it's yeah, it's just a it's a cop out. So what I'm gonna do? <coughs> Sorry for coughing and stuff. I'm still trying to get over all that stupid stuff. <coughs> What I could do, even, is, yeah, I guess I could just retrace it. Alright, I'm just going to retrace it. I'm going to move it over. I could do a lot of this stuff, so if I just want to go back, it's just it's really easy for me to go back. I don't have to worry about it. Alrighty. Alright, so here's what's going to happen. Take the pen tool. I want to... Create a new layer, put underneath. I want to lock a layer. I'm going to put a thing in the back of a color so I can just see everything super easy. What color? What color do I want? I'll just do green. It looks horrible. I'm going to lock that. 
<coughs> eyes want to really be able to see every single thing. All right, so now I'm going to do this. And I'm going to... I'm just going to go. And I'm going to do a much closer... Trace, uh, even though it's going to suck in the long run. Uh, having to do all this is going to just be annoying, but uh, I think it's going to be worth it for that. that just a better outcome altogether. Cause I just, I honestly was unhappy with how it looked in like every way possible and I I like kind of <coughs> I always forget this uh, okay that was annoying um just delete all this I just want to redo it okay what the Hold on. Oh, this is super annoying. Um. <coughs> All right, I gotta. I'm just going to do, do a new layer for this as well. Put it underneath. Go lock the top layer. <coughs> Let's go again. I'm like, I'm very freaking picky when it comes to this stuff. To my tracing and all that stuff. That's why I hate tracing with a passion. I do mean it with a passion. I hate tracing. I've always hated tracing, even like as a kid, tracing like a piece of paper or whatever. Always hated that. I always thought it was just so stupid. I would have rather like just, I don't know, kept it original. Like at, at growing up, is if you go like you have like, a class or something like that, and it was always like. Alright kids, I'll trace this. It's like, screw you, I don't want to trace that. Can I just draw my own thing? Oops. Alrighty. Much. Better. Look at already. It's gonna be, it's a much more... complex shape. That is for sure. Much more complex shape. Which is really good. Which is actually really, really, really good. It's going to be much better in the long run. It's going to feel more complete too. And I think he's going to like the outcome a bit more. Hopefully, he likes the outcome. Uh, okay, like that. I'm pretty good down to here. Okay, like that, I guess. Yeah, that should work. Freehand tracing, man. Freehand tracing. Alright, and of course you can do all your little touch-ups later. There's always touch-ups, especially always. Once you're done, you see like a little, little thing you didn't like, or you can move. Oh crap! You can move like this anchor point over here a little bit more, or something. You know, something like that. So that's always really good. Put this here. Sorry if you hear any background noise from downstairs. It's annoying. 
but I can't help it. So what happens when you live with other people. <laughs> They're not going to stop their TV watching or whatever because they don't care. They're not live streaming or recording or whatever. All right. What I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to do every little section on its own so I can be a little bit better with the uh, combining. All right, what do I want to do here? I want to do this. Do that. Take this. Do this. Do like this, I guess. Move out just a little bit. And uh, finish the. Alright, cool. So, for now, that's what I got. <coughs> As you can see over here, much thicker. So, I need to bring all of this in over here. So, I'm gonna tweak this a little bit, obviously. Alrighty. Bring this handle down. Alright, and I'll tweak this to look a bit more natural. Cause that looks really, 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 really uh I don't know. Yeah, it's not a, what's it called? It's like not curved enough or something. Like this. It's like, yeah, it's like not curved enough here. Can I undo that? Curve it in a bit. That's, that's, that's what it is. It's too square. Um, too square. Too square. Alright, still too square. So what I need to do is I need to take this in. Like a derp. There you go. Uh, a little bit better. Alright, okay, move all this it oops that goes down to there this can move out a little bit these these oh my gosh this is just this is uh, a nightmare garbage anyway turn this end closer with this here Kind of calm this down a little bit. Calm this curve down a little bit. If possible. Alright, this curve needs to go inside a bit more. This needs to go up higher. This needs to go up higher. And then this needs to occur. This needs to go in to here a bit more so that it can do this. And then this can go like that. Getting there. It's getting there. Alright, let me take this again. I think it was just a bad trace. Oh, it's frustrating. 
There has got to be an easier way to do this. There has got to be a much easier way to do this. I know I'm just bad at tracing. That's the problem. That's the big problem. So I'm really bad at tracing. Because my patience level is like zero when it comes to this kind of stuff. Because I hate tracing. Check my phone. I got notifications. I need to turn that down. Cause it's really loud. Anyway, what does it want? Nothing. 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 When you get notifications, and maybe nothing. Oh, my drink's gone. Anyway, um, let me start over. Is this is it recording the screen again? Okay. I'm gonna cut it off again, I need to send a message. <coughs> I'm not getting like, PZ notifications, it's weird. Alrighty. I hate tracing so much. But it has to be done. It has to be done. Alright. Why did I have to go with this? Like, why did I have to go all, like, fancy? <coughs> Biggest problem for me is trying to keep everything, like, even when it comes to, like, the stroke, basically. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try something. I'm just going to, I'm going to keep it simple again. But, I'm going to keep it simple yet again. But, I'm going to make it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna make it make more sense, more co cohesive. That's the kind of stuff I love right there. Beautiful curves like that. That's so good. Be it more cohesive. Hopefully. I'm gonna keep doing like these uh sharp corners though. Cause keeping the corners as round as I was doing sucked. Like trying to round out all the corners and make it look good still was just rough. Oh my god, I hate this so much. There, that's better. Yay, me, look at me, I'm so cool. Not at all. Alright. Time to do this. Like that. Up in again, I will attempt as hard as I can to make my lines much better once the time comes. So, connect and pull. People laughing. Okay. 
okay, okay, I can work with this. I can totally, 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 totally work with this. That's so much nicer looking than before I feel. So, I can work with this. <coughs> I'm so sorry about my cough still. I really wish it would just stop. I've been coughing for a while now, so it's just getting kind of old at this point. As you can probably imagine, I mean, if you once you cough for enough time, you're just done. I want to move this out, and I'm gonna move this up. All right, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. This needs to move in a little bit. And, oops. These, these two not be quite as intense there. But it needs to be a little more intense down here. <coughs> so, do this to kind of even it out like that. Eh, eh, eh. Maybe not. Something like that. Yeah, it's a little bit better. It's not quite perfect, but it's a little bit better. Uh, do these. Move that in. Why is it moving the whole thing? I click on the path. That's all I'm clicking on. Alright. Like that. This needs to move up. This needs to move up. This needs to move out just a little bit. Okay. 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 This needs to move up here. Here, I just feel like this needs to be a little bit like more pronounced over here. Move this over a little bit. Yes, I do quite like this. I think it looks a lot better. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do yet again another layer. Because I was going to layer these and then combine them at the very end. Uh, I feel like this oh, is still freaking annoying. This needs to move out. Just, uh. Yeah. I just, this, this part right here frustrated me so much. Can I? Ooh, good. Can I just round that out? And I work on this curvature. <sighs> yeah, I think that actually looks better for some reason. Okay, cool, cool. Actually, over here doesn't really matter as much because it's going to be covered up here. All right, so we're going to do another one of these. I'm going to do this. We're basically going to do the same thing we did. But... This time we are going to trace around the outside of Rogue and do a much better job than I did last time. Trying to make it also look a little bit nicer than that. So, I think I'm going to start with over here. So I kind of want to do this. Like this. Kind of thing. Oh crap. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to make it like. Oh! That's what I can do. Screw that. Screw this pen tool. What I can do is this I will take rectangle tools. These are going to be the same width. So I'm going to work on this. So 
I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna wait to figure out like the center of the E. So I'm around the center of the E there. And then what I'm gonna do is do this. All right. So what you do is that. So now it's gonna be rounded a lot nicer. So that I can copy and paste it and move it over. Okay. Like this. And then I can just stretch it over. There you go. So it actually, it's, a, it's cutting quarters, but it's like a smart way of cutting a quarter. It's like a, it's like a, just kind of smart. So even with this, like, okay, the G is way more curved. Just curve that in a little bit more. So I'll even do it even a bit more here. Uh, we'll just let it go. Eh. All right, so it's almost round there. Yeah, it is almost round there. So like that, and I can even bump it up a little bit so it's even, a bit more even. As long as it, okay, okay. Yep, something like, oops. Something like that, yeah. I like it. Move this over, do the exact same thing with this. And then this one's gonna be probably more like this one. Uh, now over here, okay, this one's gonna be a little bit trickier. Just a little bit. What I'll do is I'll take this point, and you can just round off that corner. This is tips and tricks with Adobe Illustrator. This is actually handy stuff to know. So now what I will do is I'll take the pen tool and I will, okay, have it look before I just kind of went down into it. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I will kind of create this curve down into it and then I will do this and kind of follow that curve and just kind of create it to like that and then just trace trace combine like this so now connected and I can uh, take these sort of boost those up a little bit and I want to just tweak the corner a little bit Ooh. all right That squeaky chair is so annoying. My squeaky, my squeaky chair is just so annoying. I feel like this needs to be a bit not as what the crap. All right, over just a wee bit, a wee bit. What the heck happened with this? That was an accident. <coughs> Oopsies. That was an accident. Alright, cool. So now it's combined, and now it looks a little bit more cohesive. I'm gonna make this look a little bit more like it actually does. Gosh. Because these need to connect to path. And I need to just kind of down here uh, thin it out a little bit here crap did not mean oh my gosh I didn't mean that uh, this is a little bit closer to that 
Yeah, like that. And then I can take this. Something like that. <coughs> I guess. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me do, do this again. Check my stream stuff. Okay. Bring back the display capture. Alright, now it's time to do the Raider Gaming. Again, it's gonna suck. And check my notifications. That's kinda of funny. Get a notification for uh, someone going live on YouTube Gaming. Alrighty then. For this. I don't like this at all. Wow, the trace. Okay. <laughs> New layer. Lock layer. Alrighty. Cause I think the hardest part, honestly. I think one of the hardest parts about this has to be. Like, I don't even know. Like, knowing where to start with these things. I like this. Like these. Then like this, then this, and you take this, and you do this. I hate, 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 hate. Tracing an illustrator. It sucks though. It actually sucks that I hate tracing an illustrator. Because, I mean, that's a huge part of Illustrator. It's like one of those things, like, it's one of those skills that people look for in you because it's a super handy skill to have. I just, it's always been, like, the most, like I said before, it's always been one of the most frustrating things to be outside of graphic design, too. Even, like, you, know, you grow up, it's like, you're, you're like a, Super, like, you know, kid, you know, in a kid class or whatever, some sort of kid, you know, class where you're little, and you have some teacher go, All right, today, kids, I want you to trace this and that. It's like, Why? Let's let me do original stuff. I don't need to trace someone else's stupid artwork. Uh, whatever. It's all good. This gives me some uh, practice, though. It's been a while since I've done like good, like legitimate time-consuming tracing, and I'm still not even that good at it. I feel like I feel like this tracing stuff. You have to have like really, 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 really good patience, like crazy, crazy good patience, which in this case, something I don't enjoy doing. So, my patience is going to be a little thin. I have patience when it comes to the things I like to do in Illustrator. I remember... When I went to uh, the tech school for this, my Illustrator class was not my favorite. Not because of the teacher, not because of... I don't even know exactly. It just was... I just didn't like Illustrator as much. For me, I would have much rather gone to like Photoshop and just played around with Photoshop all day, which is something I actually did in, the, in those classes. I would finish my assignment and stuff, and I would just kind of finish my day by 
going and playing in uh, Photoshop. How much farther do I have? Oh god. But yeah, I, I always thought Photoshop for me was a better skill. Photoshop has always been a better skill for me personally. I don't think it's a better skill to have exactly. I think knowing Photoshop is an incredible thing to incredible thing to uh, know. I think a lot of people should learn how to Photoshop, even if they're not really interested in doing any form of graphic design in their life. I just think it's a really good skill to have, because it can help with little things here and there in the future. Like, you want to have, you want to, you're going to throw a party or something like that, you know, for Christmas or whatever, I don't care. You know, you, you could yourself design the the you know cards for it, you know, the, the the invitations or whatever for it, which is in my opinion is a great thing to know. You don't have to go to those, like, god-awful template sites and pick from one of their millions of templates, which ultimately just ends up being these super, like, super generic templates that everyone has seen, and so it's not, like, even, like, it's going to be an original design that you could be, like, proud of showing off or anything like that. So, I just think photoshopping is a really good skill to have. Obviously, you can do all that stuff in Illustrator, too. I could easily, easily just go and design a Christmas card thingy in Illustrator. But, uh, I think, I think it's a little bit easier to photoshop. Just a little bit. At least, in my opinion, but I also did. I also started. I also started my uh, graphic design. Like, I don't know if career is the right word to use, but I guess kind of started my graphic design career with Photoshop when I was like maybe sixteen or whatever. I decided to. find out a little bit more about this thing called graphic design. Never heard of it before, and I just thought, hey, it sounds kind of cool. Sounds like something I, I kind of could get into or whatever. So I uh, did a teeny bit of research, saw what you do, said to myself, hey, that's cool. I like it. And I went from there for the rest of my life. Uh, that's how I got into graphic design. Uh, actually, well, when it comes to the just finding out about it thing, I didn't just find out about it. It was like one of those basically I, I met someone who was a graphic designer. I've always known that graphic design was, like, a thing. But I didn't know there was a name for it or whatever, because it was just something, like, no one to talked about in my, like, city. It wasn't, like, this really big thing that people talked about. But, like, growing up, all I, like, I would, I would look at logos and stuff like that. I would, I would make my logos all the time for things. Like, it was always kind of ridiculous. I'd be, like, sitting there just making logos for stupid things. Just because. Like, I just I just thought making logos were really fun. And I was always, like, critiquing, lo like, local logos and stuff like that. Like, oh, that logo's so bad, or, you know. Which I just thought was funny. I still critique local logos and local design. Because, uh, so often it's just... 
just garbage. But uh, but yeah, just one of those things. Like I just found out about it, and I was kind of almost instantly. Yeah, I kind of was like just instantly like this is what I was made to do. <sighs> oh God, some of this, some of these lines are just so bad. I also love how I start off with these really. I also hate that too. Love how I start off with these really like thin designs or whatever, like these thin lines. I mean, and then it like gets thicker, and then I always end up like liking the thicker part better a little bit. Okay, let me think. Up here is so janky. Oh my god. I heard something, I didn't know what it was. Alright, so that's frustrating. This is what's frustrating me right here. The thicker the thicker lines up here and everywhere else, but the thinner lines on the radar. Let me try one little thing. I'm gonna put a stroke on it. Oh! Okay. That's not, that's not the worst thing I ever did in my, in my life. <coughs> okay, I actually really like that. What I might actually do is do uh, the rogue with the stroke. Because it gonna be closer to the shape. This kind of masks some of the impurities. All right, going to do this. Lock, unlock. Take these. Uh, actually, screw that. New layer. Lock. Hide. I'm going to. Go here, copy, paste, drag it out to this new layer, lock this again, go to here, take this, make it black, and just put a stroke on it. Because what this does, take the stroke menu, 
I can. Huh. Oh, the guy there. Sorry, how thick is that? That's like a. It's like that. That's not like doing anything. So that completely does that. So what I can do here, I feel like that lo does look better. What I'll do, lock this again. Let's probably label these. Take this, and I'm going to combine. Is it? Locked. Yes. I'm going to take this. Like this. Turn off the stroke completely. Screw that. Okay. Uh. How do I want this to disappear? That's the big question. Um, you know what? That works. <laughs> <coughs> I just gotta combine these. What I'm thinking about.
I'm back. Oh my god, That's, I'm not really a big dog fan. I'm not happy that I have one in my house. <coughs> Alright. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap up streaming. I'm gonna finish this really quick. Uh, no one's watching anyway, so... It's kind of... Kind of pointless for me to continue... Streaming. I mean, I know technically no views, you know, no one watching doesn't really matter too much as long as you just stay natural and all that good stuff. But there's really no point in me lagging my computer down. I need some new hardware. And I'm hoping. <coughs> just hoping that, uh,. My income tax return will uh will help pay for it. Well, I think that's it. Uh, I'll probably, like I said, like I always say, I'll do a little touch-ups here or there. When I see, you know, when I feel like I need to touch it up, I'm going to talk to him tomorrow. See how he feels about the progress of the logo. Uh, things you might want me to tweak and all that. So, uh, yeah, I guess this will be a good night, guys. Uh, I'm hoping to stream some more this weekend. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, how much time I'm going to have. If I have. <coughs> any time at all, but if I have time, I will try my hardest to get some sort of live stream in, so, of a game this time, so, alright, well, thank you. Anyone who watched for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.